Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplus, they, she, he, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are talking about MPLS Sound by Hannibal Tabu, Joseph Philip Illich, and Meredith Laxton. This volume was published by Life Drawn just last year in 2021 and is historical fiction. Content notes for Death of a Queer Partner. And this is an entry in my Black Comic Books TBR series, so we are also going to be highlighting a Black YouTuber. Today I'm recommending Aaron Hudson, a solid follow that talks books, movies, and makeup. I think I discovered them through their bookish goals video for this year, as I am one to do, and I'm really enjoying their wrap-ups. Going through the bios of the creators, we can start with Hannibal Tabu, who, according to his website, is, quote, an award-winning writer, futurist, brother, DJ, father, journalist, designer, pundit, husband, poet, vocalist, son, karaoke host, jerk and digital project manager based in Los Angeles, California, end quote. My library has a couple of other comics by him, so we will certainly circle back to Hannibal again. According to you comic book resource, because they only have a LinkedIn and I don't, quote, Joseph Philip Illich is a senior editor for Lion Forge Comics and a public speaker on the subject of race, comics, and corporate politics of diversity. In 2017, he oversaw the launch of Catalyst Prime, Lion Forge's new shared universe superhero comics line, with a focus on inclusivity in characters and creators, end quote. And to conclude, we have Meredith Laxton, who according to their portfolio website is a freelance artist who lives in Savannah, Georgia, and works on comics and video games. What kinds of keywords came to mind? Bands, success, music industry, diversity, and punk fashion? The official synopsis on the Goodreads is, quote, When Prince burst on the pop scene in 1978, he put Minneapolis on the music map. Many up-and-coming bands followed the trail that he blazed. MPLS Sound is the story of one such group, Starchild, led by a young woman inspired by Prince to start her own revolution. Through her journey, we see from within exactly how his royal badness transformed the entire Minneapolis scene. End quote. As a not music person, I did feel a little bit disconnected from the plot, only because it felt, particularly at the beginning, to very much be a band story. As we go on, we do see some development of our main characters, but I was a bit surprised how generic people felt to start. Kind of the opposite of Jim and the Holograms, where we are somewhat beat over the head with the trademark personality traits to start. That said, The art did differentiate between the characters well, and was overall very good in my opinion, although not very distinct. Race is obviously one of the bigger themes woven into the story, centering both black characters and some of the ways that the music industry uses black creators to their own ends. Gender, sexuality, and disability are somewhat tied together in the fact that we end up following two female characters, Teresa and Lizzie, who become lovers, and then, uh, spoiler alert, Lizzie becomes sick leaves Teresa, and presumably dies. To say I found this rather seemingly random plot point that rounds out the end of the book weird is an understatement. It reminds me a lot of Blue is the Warmest Color, and I believe is generally seen as a bad cliche. And while class didn't jump out at me, there is some roundabout discussion largely funneled through progressing the band to wider popularity. So, to conclude... In many ways, a decent book that people who are more into music and bands will likely enjoy. The way it explores the influences of Prince is interesting. I am, however, very bothered by the lesbian slash chronic illness uh, plot point, so I am going to lean towards a two-star review, I think. Okay, but not great. Bye, y'all. Keep reading and organized and capitalist oppression. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.